Can you help me pull up? Because I don't feel safe for my life, Mom. Ma'am, stop, 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 stop. Okay, please Just hurry take a up, second. Mommy. Please ma'am, hurry up because I don't second. feel safe. I don't feel I'm a young black woman ma'am, and they were following talking. me off the freeway. Let, what did I do wrong? Ma'am, what did I do wrong? Please, yeah, please. Please, please. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, no, wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. No, no. no. What's up, everybody? Today we'll be taking a look at another Karen getting herself arrested. Now, in this case, it was a Karen that was just getting pulled over for a minor crime. I believe her tags were expired, and she decided to make a whole big scene instead of just cooperating. She's saying that she's a young black woman and she's being harassed by these mean officers. She could have just taken the ticket, but she decided to go the Karen route. Before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications, that way you never miss another video. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Off the freeway, I haven't done anything wrong, I just don't feel safe. They didn't even pull me over, they just were following me. Man, so I really don't feel safe. Place. I'm right here at Tony I had pulled over because they were following me. Hey ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma, they were really following me and I didn't even do anything wrong, so hey, let him Let him explain, ma'am, ma'am. Please tell ma'am. me to pull up because I don't ma'am. feel safe for my ma'am. life, ma. Ma'am, stop, 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 stop. Please, 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 I don't feel ma'am, safe for my life. Please do not walk up. Ma'am, please. stop. Please don't walk stop. up. Mommy, please come, please, please come. Stop. I feel like stop. I'm going to be a follow stop. and stop. these men are Where's stressing the me out. They're going to hurt. You me, can't, no, I didn't stop. do anything wrong. Stop walking. No, I didn't do anything we're wrong. The and now they're following me. Please Ma'am, pull out your driveway. I knew I was being followed. Ma'am, and now they were truly really hurting me. Like, I Ma'am. feel like I'm getting harassed. Stop. Please, please, mommy. Where's the police? We have a legal reason. Why did you pull over You're not me. letting us talk. Wrong. You're not letting us talk. Ma, I saw the... Ma'am, stop. Okay, please Just hurry up, second. mommy. Please Ma'am, hurry up because I don't feel safe. I don't feel... I'm a young black woman and they were following me off the street. She really had to do it. She really had to throw the race card in there. Whether you're white, black, Hispanic, Asian, or whatever else, if you commit crimes, you will be pulled over. It's not that big of a deal. If she would have just acted like a normal person, then they would have gave her a ticket, and that's it. But no, of course she had to become a big drama queen and make it about race. Now, I'm going to try to see her point of view just for a minute. I understand that there's a lot of videos out there of police brutality, and yes, police brutality does exist, but you cannot put everybody in the same basket. These cops didn't show any indication that they were going to do anything bad to her, and right away, she gets out of her car, makes a big scene, and tries to escape the traffic stop. That doesn't make any sense. Wait, ma'am, what did I do wrong? Ma'am, Please. stop. Let us talk. What did I do you wrong? You were stopped for expired plates. What did I do wrong? I like, just mommy, told you. Please come right. and help me. I know I hear you. I hear you. No, no, get off the phone right now. Place. Get off the phone they right now. I gotta get off the phone, mommy. Please come. I'm gonna come. take the phone out of your hands if you don't. Mommy, just, please right. come. Please. Okay, I'm not resisting Listen. arrest, but I just saw y'all were following me, and I just wanted to understand what I did. Then why wrong. would you not let us talk and no, run away from us? I didn't run away. I feel unsafe. What do you mean you didn't run away? Your car is right there. Because I felt I were being. Do understand? I saw you guys following me. Listen to me. Listen to me right now. Listen to me. Have we harmed you? And then you took my phone. You won't let yes, me talk to my mother. No, we don't have to let you talk on the phone. How about you stop talking and explain? Let us explain what's have going we on. Have you at all? Literally, I've been seeing people dying in the street. I this don't feel nothing. safe. Do I don't feel safe right now. You're literally screaming at me because I want to speak to my mom because I knew I was being you followed no, by you, cops. you have no you idea how this works. Over by the police. I didn't see you guys pull me over at all. You guys were following me and just turned on your what? lights when I turned around. When I pulled over, Walk back to your car, and I didn't feel safe. You have no idea how this works. We're gonna walk back Please, to your car. Please, can you give me my phone back? You're gonna you, no. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not giving you. How phone can't you back give right? me my phone because back? Because you've been using it to talk. Because I needed to call my mother you because I knew I didn't that. feel safe. Sir, you can you please you're, give you're me my phone free, back? This are, is exactly what I'm talking about with the police. To, you're not Why can't I have my device? Ma'am, How can not, I not be You're not gonna answer that call. You're not gonna answer. Mommy, he's literally not letting me take my phone. He's literally keeping me on the phone. Why are I? Wait, sir. Please don't arrest me. Wait, wait, wait. Why am I getting arrested? What did I do wrong? Ma'am, what did I do wrong? Please, 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 please. No, wait, no, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, no, wait, no, 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 Sorry to disappoint you, lady, but yes, you have done something wrong. You were pulled over by an officer, and instead of giving your driver's license and registration, you decided to try to escape the traffic stop because you see videos on the internet. This traffic stop could have went totally differently. She could have identified, 
gave her paperwork, got a ticket, and went home. But instead, now, she's probably going to go to jail for resisting arrest and all these other charges. She is psychotic and is definitely making her own situation a lot worse. I didn't do anything wrong, family, please. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I just called my mom because I didn't feel unsafe. Why are you arresting me right now? I'm not resisting. You're being detained right now and you're literally resisting right I'm now. I'm not resisting, officer. I promise Brian, you I'm not smacking resisting. smacking away his hand is resisting. How? I didn't smack his hand. I yes, just wanted to speak I with my mom. You. I, I just wanted to you. speak with my mom, I man. No, I'm not mom. resisting. I'm not resisting. Please understand. Please understand. I just wanted to tell you what was going on. And I want to speak with Ma'am. No. Sir, I'm not resisting. I just... Are you serious? We're like, past the point. What are we past? You're being detained right now. Why am I being detained, sir? Please. You had a, we had a legal please. right to... All right. If you're not going to let me talk, I'm not talking to you. I will let you talk. I'm not talking to you right okay, now. Okay, please talk. I will let you talk. I don't want to be detained. You I don't want to talking yet. Keep okay, I'm going to be quiet. Please don't detain me. Please don't detain me, sir. I did nothing wrong. I will give you all the information you need. Please. Please. Take a seat. Please. Take a seat. Oh, double lock too. Yeah. Please, I will give you all the resi I will give you everything you need. All my information is in the car. There's too late. Why is it too late, sir? Look at what look at what the situation is. Because you wouldn't you let me talk to I didn't want to create it. Okay, okay, okay. You're gonna take a seat. Sir, You're I did gonna get your phone. We're going to get your phone because that belongs to you. It's in the grass. I didn't want to create a situation. Do you understand that I just don't feel safe right now? It's it's too late. It's not too late. Please. Take a seat. Once what you do you need for me? Sir, what do you need for me? I will not. I will not resist. I'm not resisting. I'm not. Locked. I'm not complying. Do you have anything on you? No, ma'am. Please let me. Yeah, just get her info. I'm going to take a look at the, uh, the inside of the car. I got it. 1283 radio, RP, John Boy George, 8986, JBG, 8986. So it looks like the mother arrived on scene. I wonder if the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree in this case. But I just want to clarify something for the cancel culture out there because I know it is running wild. I will call out anybody who uses the race card to escape their crimes, whether you're white, black, Latino, or whatever else. Everybody uses the race card these days, so it's not limited to just one race, and it's a form of gaslighting. We are in 2023. I think the race card should be thrown in the past, never to be used again. Unless there is legitimate proof that an officer is racially profiling suspects, which in this case there clearly isn't. Mother of the mother of the mother. Where is she? She's in the back of our car. Why? <clears throat> hey, just no no no, we'll 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 worry about that. Okay. Just figure out who you've got here. So she's we've got a couple of things that happened, obviously. Yeah. She's she's obstructing. She had a physical act of obstructing. <clears throat> and uh, we got the expired plates. Mm. You know who it is. I got cut on my hand, but we'll, I'm gonna talk to mom. Okay. Just get all the info on her and then just Explain exactly what was going on. Just be aware your fronts were not on. So you only okay. had your, your back lights on, but you had the siren. She knew you were there. So she, she knew she was being stopped and she, she got out of the car. She was totally not complying with orders. Yeah. But I'm going to talk to mom. I'm going to explain everything to her. Okay. Hey mom, I'm the, I'm the training officer of the officer who I initiated the stop with your daughter, so I can tell you everything from the beginning. Okay. So, we're on the freeway. Coincidentally, she was turning left onto the freeway. We had no association with following her when she got on the freeway. Mm -hmm. And when we got on, at some point she made a, a turn in front of another car and kind of slowed traffic down, which mm -hmm. seemed a little bit out of the ordinary. She hadn't committed any traffic violations. Mm -hmm. We saw her weaving within her lane. Again, not a traffic violation, mm -hmm. but just a little bit concerning just because the time of night we're worried about impaired drivers. We checked her plate and the plates were expired as of May. So when we get onto Harvard, we initiate the stop and we just, you know, chirp the siren. And really we wanted to make sure that the, that she was not impaired. 
Even though we had a legal reason to stop. You know what? She had already called me because she said, Ma, I think the cops are following me. Yeah, and we. I'm scared. Yeah, she. And I, I'm not sure. You see, it didn't take me too long to get here. I just right. hurried up and got out of the bed. But then I hear her screaming that she has a phobia right. of cops. I, and I know that she can go from zero to ten. We caught on that very quickly That's why because. I was trying to get her to get off. Stop. So apparently, believe it or not, there is such a thing called capiophobia, which is the fear of police officers and getting arrested. Now, let's run with this for a bit. If she really has capiophobia, the one thing she should do is try to avoid contact with officers by registering her plate and driving normally, which she didn't do. And then if contact with officers does occur and you are worried about getting arrested or even worse, then maybe cooperate. That would go a long way. So obviously, if she has capiophobia, she is not handling it very well and is not taking the necessary steps to limit the contact with officers. Or it could be a pile of bullshit and she's just crazy. You be the judge. I, listen to me, calm down so that it does not escalate. And that's why I, I, I rushed up here because I know she's scared. Right. She she and was telling us that she zero and she told you to exactly what she was telling us. She didn't feel safe with mm -hmm. us being there. So she's on the phone and we're like, stop. She walked well she past that bus stop away from and she starts kind of walking fast, not really running. So I, I cut her off and I'm like, let me explain the expired plates and she just wouldn't let she, us talk she wouldn't. so she i said look i'm not gonna let you be on the phone okay and she said um mom hurry up and right. so i grabbed her phone and i turned it off because we have it the right still going. we have <laughs> I was we have we have the right to, to tell somebody to turn it off the phone and she was not complying yeah, with any was, orders still going. so she she still wouldn't she, she, she was she wasn't listening to us and then she got to the point where she grabbed the phone again and she tried answering the phone and I pulled away it was me. and yeah and she would not listen to us she so we ended up listen. so we ended up trying to detain her and as we were trying to detain her she took us to the ground I mean she she cut me up with the handcuffs but oh because you were trying to detain her and right, she but, was but you have to understand the she point can't just walk she away. can't she can't run if away she from wasn't if she wasn't doing anything wrong she, she was. For well, she had got out the car. She right. Car, the car was violation. stopped. Okay, this car was stopped. Yes. She wasn't under arrest, and she was scared. She I would. Walk, but she's not free to go. Tells me, unless she. I'm really disappointed because the mom was doing so good up until this point. She was not free to go. She was detained and she was actively escaping the traffic stop. It's not rocket science. Here you go. She's not free to go. No, Once she, you pull her over. Yeah, no. she's not free to go. It's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a so she, she can't just walk away because we, we still have a job to do to identify, let her know the reason for the stop. And that wasn't, she wasn't letting us that, let us do that. We gave her multiple options. We said, let's walk back to your car. It's not like we got hands on. We didn't touch her until it was time to detain her. We did not touch well, her at any she, point. But she had to be detained. Because, well, let me, let me and explain. this is why, why she was on the phone. This is why she was on the phone with me. She, so... The situation was. The reason she was. I'm sorry. I just got got grabbed. Got up out of my bed. Here, let me the first let me explain to you just so you know what's going on. So we. So we um. We saw her this this female driving on the freeway, and her behavior was weird. She was pretty far in front of us, but she we were close enough to where she could definitely see us in the review. Okay. And she she was following the laws using her blinker, but she clearly moved out of the lane that we were in so that we wouldn't see her. She's weaving in her lane, never crosses the plane, but okay. suspicious enough for where we're like, is something going on here? She gets off on Harvard, which we were going to get off on anyway. We check the plate, and it's, it's expired from May, May 21st. Okay. So we're like, let's let's stop the car, advise her that her plates are expired, and just make sure everything's okay, make okay. sure she's not impaired. So he uh, lights her up between Richmond and Eaton on Harvard, and instead of her going right, she turns left into this parking lot, and it looked like she was trying to turn left into this portion of the parking lot, but she got caught by the fence, so she stopped. She gets out of the car, and that's when I picked up the radio and called the plate on and put it back down, and we start telling her to get back in the car. She's not listening. We approach her, try to explain her the reason of the stop. She's not giving us a second to talk because she's on the phone with her mom saying she's scared. The police are here. I don't know what they're doing. They're following me. So we try stopping her, and then she starts kind of jogging, jog walking away from me, and I cut her off. And then I start yelling at her because I'm like, you got to stop. Stop walking. We, didn't, we don't touch her a single time during this whole thing. Okay. We just kind of surround her. 
trying to explain to her the reason for the stop and that she can't leave. She's not listening. I tell her to get off the phone. you got to get off the phone right now. She would not. That's when I, I, I take the phone from her. I press stop because of the safety concern. And I'm holding on to the phone in front of her. And she is, again, not letting us say a single word. And we're trying to walk her back to the car. We're like, walk back with us. Her mom calls, she answers the phone, I pull that away, and then that's when we get to the point where we're detaining her because she's literally not listening to anything we're doing. And she's literally snacking and pushing off the leaves. And uh, so we, we try putting her in cuffs, and she starts running away. We get hands on right by the curb over here. We finally get her detained. At some point when we're putting cuffs on, I cut my my wrist. But it was all to just, it's all a traffic stop. And she just You're was right? walking, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Okay. She does have the odor of alcohol coming off. I smelled it too. So I, I smelled a little bit of alcohol she coming from her, too. So it's... I don't know if you heard her. I didn't hear It was just a traffic stop to, again, figure out what was going on because we saw the weaving, and she just left the scene and would not let us talk to her. So it wasn't until we got her in cuffs that she said, I'll cooperate, I'll tell you everything you need to know, but she would not give us the opportunity to explain, and she was physically moving away from us and then physically resisted us when we were trying to detain her. I mean, that sums it up pretty well. It was a very, very simple traffic stop. That should have just been that, a simple traffic stop. But no, her phobia made her act completely irrational. Now, personally, I don't buy the mom's explanation that she is so scared of the police because, like I said before, if she's that terrified of the cops, she would make sure to never get pulled over. And that would involve making sure that her license plate is always registered, her driver's license is up to date, which obviously she hasn't done. Where do you want to go with this now? Well, that's the thing. I mean, she... We've got obstructed. That's that's my biggest thing. She can't she can't do this. So at the very least, we've got obstructed. All for a stop that she would not let us explain what was going on. That probably would have been a verbal warning. Yeah. But mm -hmm. or just a quick to make sure she's good. Yes, exactly. Um, no, she obviously escalated this. Um, yes. Do we think she's intoxicated? Uh, she says that she had a shot, but. I, I, I definitely I definitely smell it. I definitely smell it. The behavior that she exhibited, I know her mom says she's got a phobia, but that is not, in my opinion, sober behavior. I haven't done any invest. We haven't really taken those steps. If they've asked any questions, I wasn't a part of it. I asked if she had anything because I could smell it on her breath, and she said, I had a shot. I don't okay. drink and drive. That's all she told me. I don't drink and drive, but I had a shot. Okay. Yes. Has she been... Um, not Mirandized. She has not? No. I think uh, we can Mirandize her and then ask further questions and see what what we can get. Yeah, at this point, with her actions, I don't feel comfortable with you doing a sobriety test here. Okay. Back at the station, you mean? In the jail? Yeah. Okay. If, uh, I mean, it, may, it may be that she's not intoxicated. I mean, at the very least, we do have the obstructing. I mean, she she is saying that we did this. But she did every step. She led us to she this point. Escalated. We did not. We did not take her there. We were not abrupt with any of our movements. It wasn't until she got out of the car that, you know, I started getting concerned. Somebody getting out of the car. I don't know who they are, and I don't know what they have on them. Sure. So, she, we immediately found out that she was by herself and that she was wearing clothing that you can tell she didn't have any weapons or anything on her. But, yeah, she. I think obstructing at the very least. And then we can do we can do sobriety tests or whatever in the jail. I'm okay with taking it that far. If we don't get anything, then it is what it is. But we have obstructing. I will. Uh, I'm gonna let mom know, and then we'll see if she needs any property out of the car, and we'll get it towed. So that's it for the video. This one was really interesting. I learned something new. I had no idea that capiophobia was an actual thing. I don't know if this girl has it, but it's still pretty interesting. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Let me know in the comments section what you think about this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.